Hi guys! So, it's spring and I think that's the right time for something pretty and green. So, you're gonna start with the knit stuff that you're gonna apply under your eyebrow. That's something you do every single morning, I guess. Well, I hope so. If not, you really should. And in the corner of your eye to highlight it, all that stuff. It's finally stopped raining here in Moscow and that's really great news. So I'm gonna go out and just go shopping and just walk around and I'm so excited about that. So no more rain. Okay, so then you're taking the eyeshadow stick by Ava. Scout, Nature Spark, so something. Um, that I guess a nude. I love the stick uh, eyeshadows because they last all the day long. So it gives a little bit of a shiny uh, base for your makeup and it helps it to stay all day long on your eyes. So now you're taking... <laughs> Oops, okay, the light green stuff. So many green and sometimes you get, get confused. And you apply it on your upper lid. And now we are taking the darker green with some golden undertones and you apply it on a crease, on the outside of the crease and you apply it only halfway to the middle of your eye like that. So um, you don't apply it too much so and the look doesn't look the look does look, I'm sorry guys. So the makeup doesn't look uh, too dark and too heavy. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, oh crap. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, okay, that's better. It's okay. Blend it, blend it out. Okay, now to soften it even more, you're taking very, very light green, maybe even a bit uh, lime at the cut, and you apply it over the green, over your crease. Um, excuse me. Oh yeah, sorry. So it softens the green. It doesn't really. Uh, it's not that right, so it won't be really visible, but you know it's there, and that's very, very cool. So now you're taking the gray eye pencil, you can take brown or just any color you prefer, but I think that anything that's not as intense as black will do. Although if you think that black will go well with that makeup, just go for it, use it. It's all up to you. I'm just a bit tired of black because I'm wearing black uh, liner every day to the job and so I get a bit, I get a black overdose, you know. And now I'm taking my favorite eye tip eyeshadow and the color is dark green with a bit of blue and a bit of gray and a bit of gold. I can't really describe the color so you have to see it. Yeah, but on your lower lash line. So, okay. See what kind of color is that? Really can't describe it. So, a greeny, grayish gold. And the main thing is that it has the gold undertones just as the green that you've been applying on your crease. So, they really match. And now, to finish it up, you're taking a light and very, very vibrant neon bright green. You take a bit of it and you apply it in between your eyeliner and the shadow over here. And 
them a bit more in the inner corner of your eye on your upper crit on your upper lid so as you see that's really bright and up the look it's like wow it makes your eyes really pop I love it love it love it so now bits of black mascara Uh, for the lips, I'm taking the Avon Never So Nude stuff, so any nude color will do. So this is something very natural that keeps all the attention on your eyes. Yeah, that looks great. I even feel better after that semi-final match. Oh, damn you Atletico. I mean, they did a great job, but oh, breaks my heart. <coughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't really talk about football with you. Because I don't think that people who are watching makeup videos are interested in football. Oh, I hope so. No. So now I take in a peachy blush. And apply it on the apples of your cheek. So yeah, Friday was really funny day because every single person who's come in my room in the back would say, Oh my god, why on earth did you lose that match? Uh, it was like, Oh, I didn't know. Did you lose? Oh my god. Thanks for letting me know. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I get really emotional when I get to my football club. Okay, maybe a bit on your nose. Hope you like that. So I'll take it out. <laughs> and guys, see y'all soon.